You know that feeling of disappointment? You're looking forward to something all week, and then the rug is swept out from under you, fall back, hit your head on a lamp. That's what I'm feeling right now. Like your Auntie June wins the lottery, she wins like $40 million, and she's coming over and you're like, is she gonna give me a million? You think she's gonna give me a million? And then she gives you like a lottery ticket, you could win too, Jimmy. I hope you drop dead, Auntie. And your luxury cruise, I hope you drown. So that's what I'm feeling with this impending doom that Sony's about to release upon us. So in this video, I wanna talk a bit about, they're about to announce this thing, the A6400. So I'm gonna give you my pre-thoughts of the buildup, the rumors, the mistakes I think that are about to happen, and then we'll wait for the actual release and then we'll talk about the actual specs in this same video. All I want is the perfect camera. In my opinion, when it comes to camera purchases, some things in life you spend a little extra money on. You can save money on many areas in life. You can forego the entertainment. You can stop buying clothes all the time. Just like you can save money in your daily life. But some things you should not be saving money on, like food. You should be getting the best quality food you can get. That's what we run on, super fuel. So get organic if you can, high quality stuff. When it comes to camera gear, you're gonna have this thing for many years. Buy a good one, don't cheap out. If you have the chance right now, you got a Sony G4, <laughs> that doesn't even exist. You got the choice between a Sony G Master 24mm f1.4 or a fucking Samyang 2.8 What are you doing? The Samyang you're like, oh, it's so cheap. It's so much cheaper. Yeah, it's cheaper and now your show looks cheap You're a clown show putting on a song and dance for Uncle Tommy in the back room Your family is so dysfunctional Aunt June taking off with all their money Uncle Tommy asking you to do weird things in the back room Just leave get out if you can so that's what this A6400 is to me. I mean, Sony obviously doesn't think much of YouTubers if this is what they're gonna give us. There's so many things wrong with it. I hate that, that like vloggers have this stigma, like we're just losers. Some of us are, but like we offer a lot of good to this world. A lot of shows do not offer half the things I offer over on the Vegetable Police Network. I've helped people heal themselves of diseases, change their lives. It's like, I'm adding value here, and I want a nice camera to show off. The show make my life easier, and you're gonna give me that piece of shit. The problem is here, yes, it's a budget camera, I don't have to buy it. The problem is, this camera is gonna ruin the A7000 and the Sony A7S III. I'll tell you why. One, it has the flip up screen, which we'll dissect in a minute. But they're gonna say, well, if you wanna vlog with the flippy screen, you have this piece of shit now. This piece of shit with that old ass battery that lasts 20 minutes. No IBIS that we know of, but we'll update when the specs are released, but... What? 100% now, they're not gonna put a flippy screen on the A7000 because this is our flippy screen camera. The budget little M M50 wannabe. That's what they're giving us. And it's a flip up screen. Any vlogger puts a mic on the top with a big ass wind muff, blocks the whole screen, you retards. You flip it out to the side. Canon messed up with the bottom flipper once, which is covered by the tripod, then they flipped it up. This is basic shit. You put a shotgun mic on top. Oh, the flip up screen doesn't work. So who are you marketing to? Do you know anything about what YouTubers do or what we use? A tripod and a shotgun mic. That's pretty much it. You fucked us. To me, this looks like an A5100 with slightly upgraded specs, like it does 4K now. But it's basically the same camera with the same battery. That thing overheated. I bought and returned that thing like three years ago. I made a little video about it. This is with the A5100, it was a piece of shit. Hello my friend, I'm in black and white. I'm in 1951, I need help. That thing overheated in eight minutes on just 1080p. 
Like, it's too small. It's no good. So, like, what is this thing supposed to do? Why are they even giving it to us? So enough ranting. It's just a rumor for now. But it looks like a pretty accurate one. With that SR5 shit. So we'll wait for the full release. We'll see what's actually... Because there was some very exciting features, they said. Like, special shit. What's that gonna mean? Like, a camera strap can be twisted... I'll hang myself from it if that's your release. It's worse than we thought, my friend. They got us. They, April Fools. April. How you doing, April? Just Jesus monkey Christ. Jesus monkey Christ. What, what are they doing? Why? Why do you do it, Sony? It's weird because nobody was talking about this camera. In all the rumors leading up, nobody mentioned a little circus freak show camera in the bottom tier of an ape society camera for apes. Nobody mentioned this was coming. And then this is what they give us. This feels like a slap in the face from Sony. I mean, they're actually targeting this for vloggers. And I'm thinking, have you ever vlogged in your life? Have you ever filmed yourself getting coffee in your life? I don't think you have. Those lame-ass promo videos with that girl. Super too happy girl. Oh, I'm so happy to be vlogging my life. She's clearly using a gimbal. That's the steadiest shot I've ever seen in my life. This is basically a Sony A5100 with a mic jack that blocks the flip-up screen. Like, I don't understand how this is designed for vloggers. You have a flip-up screen blocked by the mic. You have no IBIS. No exciting features. Your exciting feature was the time-lapse, which every camera since 1947 has had. Their main focus here is the autofocus being so great. It was already good on the 6300. Nobody gives a shit. It was already good. It's like, it's really good though now. This would be a decent studio camera like this. You set it on a tripod and then you move your shotgun mic closer to you out of frame. Oh, that's not out of frame. I'd have to have it way up there. Then it wouldn't even hear me. I'm just so disappointed in myself for believing in it, for believing in the movement that Sony could change. They could add a flippy screen. They did it to the budget version. This is for YouTubers with 347 subs max with a lifetime goal of like 400. That's what this is for. And even then, you would go with the M50. Why wouldn't you? At least they flipped it out to the side. I'm just struggling to see where does this camera fit in our lives. Say you have the Fuji X-T3 and you take this piece of shit, the 6400. Flip up screen's blocked by the mic anyway, so that's gone. Why wouldn't you get the X-T3? Autofocus, maybe. Yeah, for sure. Autofocus will be better on the A6400, but nothing else is better. And so far, what I see on the A6000 lineup in general is really good 4K and terrible 1080p. And I didn't see any mention of 1080p, so it's probably the same shit. Line skipping bullshit. What's the point? M50 beats it? Like, there's not a camera I would pick over this thing. I mean, the opposite of that. If I'm being honest though, for this kind of video here, we just have it on a tripod. I plug this lav mic right into there. I got a little flippy screen, good autofocus. It's just still, it's APS-C. They don't have a lot of great lenses. The only one is that Sigma 16 mil and it's kind of heavy and my tripod doesn't appreciate that. And I couldn't pick it up ever because it's shaky as shit. So I'm disappointed. Now we gotta wait, and the worst part, which I already mentioned, is that now the A7000 will not have a flippy screen because they gave it to us. You didn't give us a damn thing, I'll give you a diaper from a baby I met in the hallway. Then what are you gonna do with it, Sony? That's the real question. What are you gonna do with the diaper of life? My knee looks weird in the shot. I could tell because I had a flippy screen. You didn't give it to us, Sony. But what are your thoughts? Are you gonna get this thing? 
I swear to God, if I start seeing recommendations for it. Hey, bro. A6400's got a flippy screen. You gonna get it? You don't even know me. So Sony either does not know what YouTubers need or they're not willing to give it to us. It's either or and those are both two terrible things. So I have lost faith in Sony for the future of YouTube life. It's not gonna be them. They're not gonna give it to us. Sure, you get a little external monitor, your little Wi-Fi app. This actually hooked up super fast. It was super easy. But you do that out in the field, you got some issues on your hands. So we're done. Thank you so much for watching the video today. Get yourself a camera conspiracy shirt and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.